Bitcoin Death Cross Price Prediction 2019. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, I'll share with you my thoughts on Bitcoin Death Cross that a lot of people are talking about. Should we be worried about Death Cross? Should we think that Bitcoin can crash? So I'll share with you my price prediction for Bitcoin and give you guys an update on what's been going on. So let's have a quick look at what Death Cross is. So Death Cross, in simple terms, is when the 50, when a shorter moving average crosses the longer time moving average usually people talk about uh, the 50 day moving average crossing the 200 day moving average so that is what people call the death cross and it is a i wouldn't say a massive i mean it is a big indicator that we look out for uh, in in the stock market or when we're trading but it's not as important it doesn't mean whenever we get a death cross it's going to dump so that are just new traders that are coming along trading with emotions they think whenever we get a death cross the price is going to crash we have to be a bit more spot smarter than that so that's the first thing to point out uh, the death cross could be happening in bitcoin in the next few weeks as you can see this blue line uh, is, is i'm actually i'll make it bigger for you so you guys can see so this blue line crossing over the green line is the death cross and this is a moving average that I use I don't use it predominantly I mainly use this red one and this green one the 20 and 200 but 50 crossing down the green one is considered a death cross and it could be bearish for Bitcoin so what is my thoughts on Bitcoin now uh, Bitcoin is below my 20 moving average it has broken below this significant support and resistance level so my thoughts are bearish am i going to short bitcoin now um i did take a small short um here uh, i actually took a loss here and took a profitable there but at the moment if you're a new trader you shouldn't be trading this range it's very difficult to trade this range it's best to wait for a breakout and then trade so that is my first thoughts on it a uh, longer term i'm actually still very bullish on bitcoin i've bought some bitcoin um uh, some more bitcoin at eight thousand seven thousand level um i've shared that thoughts with you in our educational group if you've not joined it but at the moment guys for trading point of view it's not really high probability if we get over sort of if we break out of this range above it get above my t uh, the daily 20 moving average then i'll flip my bias bullish but until it breaks out i'm not really trading it if you ask for my bias my bias is short because we've seen it happen a few times I'd, I'd like to see a big spike down get people scared with a big spike down which i'll buy and hopefully we can carry on if we go study the charts previously we've seen massive spikes down and then it carried on higher that will be my dream scenario so new traders will get scared and i'll buy their bitcoin off them and i'll rally i know it sounds a bit sinister but that is kind of my thoughts that's my bitcoin price prediction in the shorter time frame i know i'm saying that you know bitcoin is not doing anything and it's best to kind of wait that that would be my suggestion but altcoins are doing quite well when bitcoin is ranging and if you're interested in trading altcoins there's lots of opportunities there's a couple of signals that are provided in our educational group i'll leave the links below to check it out it's got a full crypto trading course two months is left in this course where i'm teaching you my strategy if you want you can check it out some of the signals here have worked really well and if bitcoin is in this consolidation the zone this could be a great opportunity for altcoin i'm not saying an altcoin season but an altcoin rally so now let's have a look at a quick long-term prediction so bitcoin death cross let's actually look at how what uh, this death cross when death cross happened previously what sort of price we saw so bitcoin death cross happened back in 23rd of march 2018 and i actually make a video when that happened so it's really interesting to see uh, i've been making videos for so long it's it's a bit crazy so let's have a look at that video and i made that video last year in 2018 and i said a similar sort of thoughts about bitcoin death cross and then it was slightly different because we were so extended and the move was very impulsive and then um, my thoughts were that we were going to pull back a lot more unless we broke high of 11,000 I thought we were going to carry on going down and this price action looked like we were going to go down I was still trading it but let's stick to this Bitcoin death cross uh, uh, on this video and after that death cross we saw uh, let's have a look how much Bitcoin pulled back Bitcoin pulled back 65% after that death cross. 
do I think it will happen again? I don't think so. If we break below sort of the 4,000, you know, I think 6,000 should be a good. I'm going to look to buy some longer term Bitcoin there. Um, again, I trade and I invest in Bitcoin. So some Bitcoin that I own that I don't trade because, you know, I miss this trade. Um, if you guys know, um, I'm completely transparent. I share my losses. You know, most YouTubers, they just talk about coins going to the moon, but they don't have a clue. I trade Forex and commodities. So I, I'd like to think I know what I'm talking about. I missed that trade. I made sure I bought some here. This was during the Binance uh, hacking rumors. It was a big pullback and that was a nice trade. And I was actually hoping for a bigger pullback, but I didn't get that. And it was so bullish that I, ha I wanted to get in and uh, get in, in this strategy. And it was my pullback strategy in the educational course that I'm teaching. So here we saw a the opposite of death cross the uh, 50 crossing over 200 and we rallied hard so that so that's one example where after a death cross we saw a massive bearish move let's go back in history and see what had happened before one thing i would like to say is when this 2015 rally happened we see that um we didn't really do another death cross until we we were 20000 so we are not as bullish as we were back in uh, 2015 Th there is another death cross here but this doesn't really mean much because the price is in a range so i don't look at that as strongly this is what i was hoping for the 2019 bottom you know a big a breakout a pullback then a rally but uh, this 20 uh 19 rally or 20 back back end of 2018 rally people we didn't get that we just broke out and ran higher so again you have to kind of um adjust you can't just say i'm going to stick to this strategy because the markets are always changing the psychology is in the principles behind my strategy that i teach isn't changing but we have to kind of uh, be able to understand what the current market is and and uh, you know try to adjust to the market the, the new market conditions so then we had so we we crossed over two times we had a death uh, we had this a bullish cross a death cross and then we crossed again and then there was no looking back we didn't get another death cross until back in 2018 back in 2018 when we um, had that death cross and a big big bearish uh, breakdown so let's go back and see uh, the previous bre death cross this happened back in 2014 and after that death cross we kind of tried to break above it we couldn't break above it so it's just simple trend principle the the there's one video i've got just on trend and i'd say that is the most important video you could be trading for years but um that trend analysis if you think we although we had that uh, bullish crossover the 50 crossing over the 200 we didn't break above this big um i'll draw a line to show you where i'm trying to see so this line as you can see we couldn't break above previous resistance so the trend hadn't really changed and as we couldn't break above it this cross didn't really mean much uh, and then we had another sell-off and let's have a look at how much sell-off we got after that so after that death cross we almost had another 70 percent sell-off so what does this all mean so in in i've showed you examples in history where we have had a couple of death crosses which led to massive bearish action so if we do see some sort of a if it breaks its support and it doesn't get bought back like we saw it here so i'm gonna buy if it breaks down like this i'm gonna try to buy uh, and if it doesn't rally and break into new highs then yes it could actually go down that much and then um, i know piece so i'll get a lot of hate sometimes but you can check out some of the calls i've made and they have worked quite well um again i don't say now in all my trades but some of the predictions would have kept you on the right side of the market um so it can pull back uh, uh to sort of the 5000 range and then um, i'd look to literally uh, sell my house and buy bitcoin if it does come back for at least it's trading and and uh, investing point of view and my next video is going to be on uh, fibonacci trading that will come out on sunday and then um, i'll explain to you so that would be sort of the 786 range if it does break out and we don't see big volume buying it could be quite bearish for for bitcoin so that is my thoughts on death cross it's just one of the technical indicators if the most important thing is price action and what is actually going on you can't just say it's death death cross i'm selling it's, um, you know it's a bullish cross i'm buying if you trade like that you're not going to make money but but if you just followed this 50 crossing over 200 and 200 crossing you know 50 crossing below 200 that is probably a better strategy than just emotionally buying and selling or listening to morons uh, on the on youtube that are you know trying to pump uh, used to pump tron 
XRP, ADA, and you know, some of the coins I actually like, BAT even, like some of the coins that I like, they could be good, but the way they're pumping, it, it I, I think they're a bit crazy. But anyways, that's just my thoughts on it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I mean, I'll share with you my opinions, even if you don't like it or not. I'd like to share with you my experience. I've been trading for five years, and in no way am I claiming I'm a professional. I know everything. I'm just sharing with you my thoughts and what has worked for me. And use this information. Uh, try to apply it. If it works, great. Uh, if it doesn't. Um, you know try to understand why it doesn't and try to figure out for yourself even reach out to me saying Rocco you said this it didn't work this works better come up to me you know I'm trying to create an educational group uh, after this course which will where, where I'll live stream you know three four times a week and then um, I want to work uh, work together you know if I'm if I miss a trade I missed um, uh, the Matic the Matic one I caught uh, there's RVN had a rally you know there's coins that I miss as a uh, ZRX is a coin that I missed. Um, you know, I want you guys to help me say, no, this is breaking. I have a look at this because you can't trade every coin by yourself. Uh, Matic trade is the one that I took and I shared. TRX was another one that I shared in the group. Uh, but we could work together. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But to end this video, my question to you guys is, what is your thoughts on Bitcoin? That is not the Bitcoin chart I was analyzing. sorry apologies for that let me go back to the bitcoin chart uh, to end this video so yeah my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on bitcoin do you think it will break out above or do you think it will break out below although my bias um, is it will break down here but I'm not trading my bias. If it breaks above this red zone, then I'm wrong. Um, and if it breaks below, then that is my bias. But I don't trade my bias. I trade my strategy. If you just trade on emotions or biases, that's the quickest way to lose all your money. So that's that's my question to you. Comment below your thoughts on Bitcoin. And I hope you guys have, have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button. And thank you very much for helping me get to 6,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. Uh, if, uh, and I'm really seeing a lot of free videos as well this rsi day trading mastery video i highly recommend you check it out and i've got other uh, strategy videos as well which you can learn from me and uh, i'll see you guys next sunday on my I, I do a live stream every sunday actually this sunday i can't i'm in amsterdam but um, i'll probably do a one on tuesday or i'll see you the sunday after where i do a live stream i'll answer all your questions and explain to you my strategy and potentially which altcoins are breaking out uh, this week i took the there's a one trade i took and it worked out really well live Live stream trade live trading previous week was even better so i'll make sure i'll do the live stream they're quite fun so make sure you've joined our free facebook group and request coins or email me or message me and uh, we can have um, a live stream where i can discuss your questions so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much